back for another vlog with your girl Lamari Theresa. Forgive my fingers, forgive my nails. I'm in the process of taking them off. This is, I'm done. I'm over this. I'm over this. This is this is entirely too long. I'm tired of my nails getting bent, bent back. My real nail getting bent back. I'm so over it. Look, look at this. Look at this. I'm going back to graduate school. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I took a, a leave of absence. And I'm back, your girl is back, I'm back, woo woo! Mm -hmm. Everybody. welcome back to another video i am so sorry this video is going to be all over the place i had something else in mind but the footage came out horrible and these clips were the best parts of it so it will i will try to explain briefly what's going on and record other videos later so if you are new to my channel thank you so much for even watching up to this point and i hope you stick around if you are an og thank you for holding me down i really appreciate you all so here i will talk about you know the cooking because your girl got them skills and then i will explain like my transition from studying for the mcat to preparing for graduate school okay so um yeah so as y'all can see i chopped up the garlic i'm chopping up the onions or i'm mincing or i'm trying to mince the uh garlic and onions and now i'm mincing up the bell pepper and i will be mincing the um mushrooms so i'm just getting my food together so that i can uh, basically prepare my lunch and dinner for the rest of the week i like to normally do this on a saturday or a sunday but you know it was just one of them one of them weekends and or it was one of them days where uh the food from the weekend didn't you know last to the middle of the week so i had to do what i had to do yeah, I'm buttering my skillet. So um, before I cook my main dish, which is like this big burrito bowl, first I made some spinach and I used some garlic and onion and oil. And then I put, I warmed all that up or heated it up and then put in the spinach. I'm spinning it around until it gets kind of, you know, flat or like this. And then um, basically that's when I declare my spinach is done. And um, I just set it aside. So I'm putting all of that aside so that I can have that spinach just for myself. And then I'm going to um, use the rest of the minced or chopped up vegetables and put that into a pot and mix in some frijoles or some black beans and some pizza beans and um, you know mix in with some corn and that's how I make my burrito bowl like my, my chipotle imitation of a burrito bowl so what kind of foods or meals do you guys like to cook like let me know in the comments like do you prefer mexican food all the time do you prefer italian food or do you prefer to switch it up so let me know the kids i made a completely different meal so you see me over here squirting in some ketchup and putting into the marinara sauce um so basically i just made uh for them pasta and they get the pa the pasta with the marinara sauce i get the pasta with the alfredo sauce and you know they also got green beans okay so here um is basically where i'm preparing myself to study not gonna lie it took me a minute to get myself together even before i turned on the camera like i know i said a minute but you know in dallas terms it's really an hour or so um but i just had to take some time off camera to conquer my emotions you know some emotions i felt were feeling helpless um feeling like a failure you know the imposter syndrome like why am i even doing this so i had to address that and that's also why i have my sympathy bear in my arms um so tonight was just kind of an uncommon night i just did not feel good i just felt out of it and you know um i just held this sympathy or empathy bear 
the bear is what they gave us at the hospital when we uh, lost our when we had a stillbirth and so with the box of memorabilia they also gave us a bear and whenever I miss him or just need to hold something I just hold my bear Okay, yes, I had to get myself mentally prepared for transitioning from study for the studying for the MCAT to studying for graduate school. So in my last vlog, um, if you and if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I've been preparing for the MCAT for quite some time. And um, around January, I began to weigh my options in whether, you know, to continue studying for the MCAT or to start studying for graduate school, especially since my leave of absence was ending soon. So in February, I just made a decision to start studying for graduate school and um, to postpone my MCAT. And uh, which is fine because at the end of the graduate program, I have to study for the MCAT anyway and take it anyway. So instead of trying to take it twice why not just take it once at the end after i finish all my classes so, um, i hadn't even made the deposit yet so thank god <laughs> i didn't have to deal with that um yeah so after i studied for one and a half hours i took my nails off and i do not recommend this method but i was being impatient and i just took off myself The next day, I got all of them off except this one. Last night, I didn't go to bed till about midnight. Uh -oh. Guns. Okay, anyway. Hey, what's up, you guys? So, I have not recorded in a while. I'm on my lunch break. I'm on my lunch break. And I'm gonna eat. So. Uh, for lunch today. Oh, I don't have any avocados. It's been a few days. It's been several days. Uh, outside of, you know, taking care of wife and mommy duties, um, I did finish my Anki deck for Biochem Block A. Now, for Block A, there were two lectures. And that was more of like the light lectures. The only reason why it took me so long is because I'm trying to do it while at work and at home. But like, you know, there's other responsibilities that come up. So it was a little difficult to do that. Um, so now I'm on block B. So my goal for this week, as far as Anki, like making Anki decks, because I tried using the ones, I tried using Anki decks for my classmates and I get it like, like it just I don't know like the information just it wasn't sticking it wasn't working for me so I went in I just made my own my update with that like my goal for my Anki decks are to make the bulk of them on the weekend so that I can have them to study throughout the week it's not always realistic I forgot to put cheese on this anyway it's not always realistic but Black boy joy, she wanna see the forbs like I wanna see her form. Tell me what you for, yeah. Hey, and pay me what I'm owed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this money on me, yeah, yeah. Cash rules all around me, yeah, yeah. All this money around me, yeah, yeah. Cash rules all around me. Don't you try
try it now You really shouldn't play with fire Put it out with water But now you're drowning There's been a whole lot of trying Whole lot of crying Whole lot of telling me I should be dying Just in case it's cold inside, and I got some extra money. I got my belt, got my belt that's meant for whipping. Somebody want to try me? Bow. Got this car. This is DFW Airport. share with you um that's currently working for me as you read your study material write down your questions as you go along and read and review one it keeps you engaged and two you can use those questions for reviewing like when you write down flashcards or make an outline or when you create a mind map for concepts you really don't understand and for anyone who is a visual learner um sometimes covering books can help especially when you're reviewing anatomy so um this coloring book um i don't use it anymore but i like i said it could be helpful especially if you're a visual learner and you're studying anatomy or some other visual type of topic okay well that concludes the vlog thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if so please like this video and share with a friend don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye